feel tired, unable to get your mind off things in a forever whirlwind of agony, need something to calm the nerves, well look no further with Frame Game, starring your host Spencer Green in Castle Crashers. When you play as the beekeeper, I haven't played enough to get any further, but your first spell, the one where you just do Y, is that bees come down, strike. Oh yeah, I saw you doing that. The first time we played, you played as the beekeeper for like a solid 20 minutes, maybe. Mm-hmm. <laughs> maybe. Now I want to f get close to an enemy and try to do XXY, see if they get hit with magics. Do it. Like XXY. Do it real good. Da -da 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 -da. You must do it. <laughs> oh yeah. What? I saw it. I Bro, think. I, I want to see. Do it again. Oh. See? You set him on fire. Gosh, we could not figure out what that did. We were like thinking it was ranged or something. <laughs> yeah, you just gotta hit him with it. And it does. It did 76 damage. Wow. Is actually how, how much really magic did it use? I didn't see. Oh, that'd be good to know, because then you'd know how many times you can use it in a row. Oh, I died. <laughs> I was like, why aren't I attacking anymore? Now it all makes sense. Here lies Gearth, the nightiest knight of them all. Right? That's what you'd put on my headphone? Head headphones? That's what you put yes, on my that's headphones? That's what I'd put on I your die. headphones. <laughs> you'll bury my headphones with me I with love the inscription. That we all land on the cake and bounce off, and all of our friends just like miss it and die. <laughs> I mean, how would that kill you? I feel like you might have broken a couple of bones, but I don't think they would have died immediately. I think this guy would be like, help, oh my goodness, my leg! And this other guy would be like, I can see my elbow! It really depends on how they landed. All of them happened to land perfectly in the way that their rib ruptured and hit their heart? You think that's all it t that's the only way a fall can kill you? Well, maybe if your brain got smooshed and I think I landed on your head. So they, half of them landed on their heads and half of them heart puncture. I feel like heart puncture is very unlikely. Lung puncture? So they lived for like 10 seconds before they suffocated? They have very short lung span, so they I think suffocate it would real be fast. more of just... <laughs> getting everything crushed, just kind of cracking all your ribs and bleeding internally and stuff. They might still be alive, we didn't check for a pulse. Oh, so they're just unconscious and we just left them to die. The, the, one thing is for sure, that was a pretty far fall. Just landing on a cake probably shouldn't have saved us, in fact. <laughs> you think so? Don't ever Don't underestimate this. We would've got stuck inside the cake. Oh. That would have been hilarious. See, that's the thing. I think the cake would have saved us if it was the cake made by Princess Peach. Oh, I can't equip it. So it just disappears. But see, it, it was a multi-layered cake, right? It was like three layers, and it was really big, so... That's each true. layer cushions a bit of a fall as you go down, right? <laughs> All right, sure. Let's the go into the physics. Fine, falling. We need to make a YouTube giant... video. The science of falling into a giant cake. You want to make that YouTube video? How far can you fall into a giant cake and not die? Dot com. <laughs> really? You're gonna make a dot com for that? <laughs> Everyone needs to know where the website is so they can figure that out whenever they're jumping off a building into a giant cake. Yep, whenever that situation 
fucked up. <laughs> Need to know it. They're like, crap, I have to jump off this cliff into a giant cake. Better go to giantcakefalls.com and <laughs> calculate the distance to the cake. <laughs> My only way off this building is to jump down into the cake. Good thing I frequent giantfallsintocake.com. Oh my goodness, I didn't make a fake commercial. <laughs> I have to jump into this giant cake. So I knew That's exactly what, I have what to do. <laughs> oh, I'm totally gonna make a fake commercial now. <laughs> and I'll get Brianna to help me so she could be like in the green screen being like, oh no, what do I do? I gotta jump off this cliff, and there's nothing under me but a giant birthday cake. Oh, Spencer. <laughs> and then there'd um, be like, I'd come in and be like, oh, having a problem? Well then visit giantbirthdaycakes.com. Giant Falls Cake, like, the website changes every time they say the name. <laughs> GiantCakeFalls.com Falls into GiantCake.com <laughs> Cake falls into Giant of the Falls Cake dot net <laughs> It was a bad translation <laughs> I got cake in my eye when I fell into it dot com <laughs> <laughs> I've got cake in my eye <laughs> There's a cake in my boot dot com <laughs> <laughs> oh, dot edu. That would be the dot edu one. <laughs> you learn a lot from that website. <laughs> it's very educational. James died. He's dead. Never oh. see him again. Oh, never mind. He's here. Died? He's been dead for a while. <laughs> dead Tom's dead? That's why they call him <laughs> Dead Tom? <laughs> Dead See, Tom's now we have dead. the question of how did he die Long and who John brought him back. Shot him. Well, let's see. So far in this game, we fought plenty of skeletons, and they were all brought back to life from the necromancer. So, so oh, the necromancer brought him back to life to be a minion, but then. He True somehow got kiss his mind. No, not when I went over. Kiss. I went. He just, no, stop. Mm -hmm. Just stop. No. <laughs> he somehow. We don't need to go into details. Somehow broke free of the spell and has his mind back. Kind of like the undead in World of Warcraft. Oh. The ones that are no longer under the Lich King's control. You know, like he's he's brought back. He's still there. He's still dead. But See, I think he came back, and then I beat him with a wrench. To the ground and was like, "Eat it, enemy. May you rest in peace." Mwah. And then I, and I kissed his dead skeleton body. You're you're calling that true love's kiss? And it was like, oh, 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 oh. kind of like in that TV series, Once Upon a Time or whatever. At the very beginning, the Prince Charming kisses uh, Snow White, and then it's like this giant wave of magic goes whoosh. And blows all the trees, and it's like, I'm no. alive! No. No. <laughs> That's canon now. <laughs> nope. I'm just gonna start writing fan fiction of <laughs> Castle Crashers. <laughs> Do you think that exists? Should I Google it? If it does. You don't want to see it. <laughs> Although that might actually be one of the few things that there isn't for. Wow. People better get I, on that. I'm not sure if anyone has seen this and started making erotica for it. <laughs> well, come on, all the princess kissing, kissing someone had, right? <laughs> someone thought... Mmm, demon making out with princesses. This needs to be- I mean, many be... people, if you go on the internet, there are plenty of places where you can find that very scenario, I'm sure. But just probably not based on this particular princess and demon combo. <laughs> <laughs> Do 
Castle Crashers slash porn slash R for Reddit. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh, no. Oh. See, there would be one for this little guy. He's prime territory. <laughs> really? I don't know. There's a lot of slimes. I'm sure that would make for something. Fat chicken pet. Prime suspect. You're disturbed. Can <laughs> we stop talking about this and move on to something else, please? Oh, okay. Yeah, seriously, though. I swear, of all our topics, you stuck on that one for the longest, <laughs> sir. Do you have a strange fetish? What? Get no. something off your chest. <laughs> I'm not obsessed with demons making out with weird eyeball pet monsters. <laughs> I mean, what even Ugh. is that thing? <laughs> I just have a fetish for obscure video games. <laughs> Spencer, all you need to know is it's the Beholder. We don't need to know more than that. Whatever it is, <laughs> it, it's horrifying. We don't need to know. And we certainly don't need to know why it was locked up in the back of the Ark and we freed it. Oh. So don't think about that too much. It was definitely <laughs> locked in there and the sword the sword key was like thrown away and hidden. The king's like, thank goodness I locked up this gremlin-like creature that if it gets caught on fire get multiplies into a million demons that'll destroy the entire world. And you're like a fire demon well, running around with it. They look a new animal <laughs> pet. Except they call them animal orbs. That's what they refer to them as. He's like, pet guy, just stay behind me while I cast my fire. We wouldn't want you catching on fire now, would we? <laughs> and it's like, oh, you cast fire, do you? 